In this video, we're going to be talking about Power Apps writing to a SharePoint list. So here's my SharePoint list. It's just a very basic list with, with some general information. And I'm going to use Power Apps to add an entry to this list. Now in Power Apps, you can write to a SharePoint list in, in various ways. Uh, probably the easiest way is to use what's called Forms. And here's my basic Power Apps application. So what I want to do is I want to add a new screen. So I'm going to come up here, click New Screen, select Blank. And now I want to add a form. So click on Forms. I want an Edit Form because I'm going to be entering information. Here it is. If I just drag it down a little bit. And now I, I need to set the data source. So on the right hand side here, Data Source, I'm going to select this one, Test List. And that will then go away and select the fields from that SharePoint list and drop them onto the form. So here they are. So I'm going to get rid of attachments because I don't really want to use that at the moment. So this is what we're left with. So here's our fields from our SharePoint list. And now I want to add a button. So if I come up to the top here and select button, there it is. Let's put it on the top there. Now, if I just change the caption to be save. So when I run this form, I want to enter some data and save that record to my SharePoint list. So the way it works is you write a bit of code behind the button and you pass through the name of the form um, to a command. So the name of the form we're using is called form2. So if I click on the button, I want to use the on select event. So when the button's selected, we want to put a command called submit form. What form are we submitting? We're submitting form two. And that's it. So now if I run my program, if I come to my list, I can see I've got three items in here. So we're now going to add another one. So let's put in Sharon Jones, age 23, female, department, human resources, address. any road and now if I hit save come to my list we can see the entries come in Sharon Jones so that's how we can write to a SharePoint list from Power Apps so one of the drawbacks with what I've just shown you is with this kind of layout where you select a form you're very limited in how you can position these controls because they're held in what's known as cards and you can't really move these around very much so for example if I select the form and I come to the fields property here well, what I can do is I can drag and drop them to where I want and it will just move them around on the form up or down the other thing I can do here is change the layout or change the number of columns as well so I could have three columns and it would start positioning it like this so it doesn't really give you a lot of control over things um, now if I try to drag and move this it's very difficult as you can see to to do anything you can't really do very much at all but there is a way around this what we can do is we can add a brand new screen blank screen and instead of adding a form like I just did where everything is automatically brought in from the SharePoint list and displayed on here we're going to actually add those controls on manually so all our text boxes all our labels all our combo boxes we're going to manually select them and we're going to give 
proper names to them as well. But the advantage of doing it this way is, as you notice, I can just move these where I want, shrink them and do whatever I want. So I don't have the problem that I just did. It gives you more control. So now I've added all my labels and text boxes and my combo box onto the screen. And if I select one, you can see that I can move it wherever I want pretty easily. So this gives me more control rather than using forms. And what I've done is I've named these to be like this. I've called this one F name for first name. This one is S name. Um, this combo box I've called Debt. So if we come to our button, again we want the on select event. And let's look at the code behind it. So this time we're using a command called patch. And what we do is we feed it the SharePoint list that we're going to be saving to. It's called test list. And then I use this defaults command, which basically means I'm adding a new record. And then I specify again the SharePoint list that I'm going to be using. And then it's just a matter of listing your um, columns in your SharePoint list. So title, surname, age, gender department address and then I'm passing in the name of the control on the screen so this one I called F name and the text value and this one here age.text um, I put um, this command in front called value because SharePoint is expecting uh, a numeric value for, for age and I, I'm passing in from this box here a text value so using value in front of it is going to make it uh, acceptable in a numeric form for the SharePoint list and that's pretty much it really um, if I run it now and I put some data in here so So I'm on the road. So in my list I have these four records currently. So now if I hit save, there it is, Terry Harris. It's coming to my list with all the data. So that's another way to write to a SharePoint list in Power Apps. If you like this video, please click the button to like it, or why not subscribe to my channel? Or you can even download my free Power Apps for Newbies book at www.powerappsfornewbies.com.